Selling beats can be so hard, especially if you're new and you're struggling to be seen, get heard. You made your beat, you put it on YouTube, you put it on your website, you've put it on Instagram, TikTok, and still no one's buying your beats. You're thinking to yourself, how's this possible? My beats bang, they're just as good as anyone else's. So why not you? I've got a solution for you to secure your first bag, which has worked for me. And I'm gonna share it with you because I want you to start earning some money from your beats. You know, one of the worst things that I hate hearing is you can't sell beats because it's oversaturated. They're right in a way, but you can't let that stop you from selling beats. Think about it. If Popeye's KFC Colonel Sanders said, oh, I better not start my, my chicken business because it's already been done. Or if a fashion store or, or a new brand, an upcoming brand, someone thought up an idea in their room and said they want to start making clothes and doing that like, streetwear and stuff like that. But they're scared to do it because it's oversaturated. There's space for everyone to win. There's enough room for everyone to succeed. So it all boils down to your mindset. So I want to share a little strategy that I've been using to sell beats, custom beats with clients and artists, which you can implement and start using today. So what you want to do is go into one of these third, part, third party platforms. It can either be Fiverr.com, Sandbetter, um, Starna. So there's a couple of ways where you can secure the bag from just one client. So the first way I'm going to talk about is jumping onto one of these third party platforms such as Sandbetter, Starna, Fiverr.com. Air gigs. Any type of platform that you're able to put your services on, create a profile, get on there and create a casting. Just create your whole profile, put all your credentials, put your beats, put a couple of your beats on there so that anyone that lands on your profile can hear the quality of your music. So what you need to start doing is, whether you're gonna go down the paid route or the free route, start applying for some castings. So if someone's are looking for rap beats, Afro pop beats, beats that you, you can make, beats that you can make in your sleep, Hit them up and let them know what you can do. So once you've got the client now and you discuss price, your fee, how much you want for, the, for your service, the next step is to send two or three beats that are similar to what they're looking for. Fire ones. Now don't forget what you think is fire might not be fire to them or what you think ain't cutting it, they might actually love that. So send about two or three different beats for them to choose from. And what's gonna happen is they're gonna listen to them and they're gonna think, I actually like two out of them three beats that, that they sent. So all you're doing is just giving them some options rather than just making one beat and then sending that one beat over for them to listen to. And, and there's no choice, there's no there's no choice for them. Don't give them too much choice, but just give them a couple so they can listen to, and just be like, yeah. And even if they haven't got the budget for, for it right now, at least it's in their mind that I like that beat. So when I've got my budget, they can come back to you and buy the beat. So that's how you secure your bag. So the other way I mentioned, I mentioned earlier, it's, it's more or less the same thing. It's just finding a, an artist on any social media, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and just building a rapport with them, letting them know what you do and how you make beats and the type of beats that you make will, you feel like it will complement their sound. And the same thing again, you send them two or three beats for them to choose from knowing for what they've got a budget to, to buy beats because you set up your whole website, your whole thing for them to know that this is what you do. And even if they don't buy the whole custom beat, at least you can forward them to your, your beat selling website. So going back to the third party platforms, once you know that you've got a client there secured and they've made an offer for the beat, send them a few beats. If they decide that they don't want all of the beats but they like them, just draw up an offer that they can't refuse but make sure it's fair because you don't want to give away your, your good beats and think to yourself, hmm, I feel like I've outdone myself there and I don't really want to let go of those beats. So yeah, just make sure that the, the price is fair and that you're happy, they're happy. And then that should just continue, that should just continue the, the relationship between you and that artist and client. I've been using that method for a while now and it, it does work, so try it. You're not, be, don't be, let me get some tea. What I'll say is don't don't do it with every artist that you work with. You don't want to come across like you're just pushy and trying to be a salesman because yeah, you don't need to be sleazy with selling beats and uh, yeah, always do good business. This has worked for me. It's continuing to work for me and I'm sure that it'll work for you. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.